Oh, hello there, everybody. So today uh, we have another uh, inbox review, another box and opening. We've got another uh, look at a kit, and uh, here it is. So this is Italeri's 20-foot military container. So basically, it's a kit of a container, <laughs> and uh, I've I've had plans and ideas for what to do with one of these kits. Uh, but I knew I'd need more than just one so after I bought this I went and uh, I couldn't find any more of the Utilera brand which is fine but I did find two more so these are both trumpeter as you can see there another is uh, this one's a 20 foot container and the other one is a 40 foot container they've got uh, a 20 a 20 and a 40 so <laughs> Now uh, these are just ordinary containers, that is they're not military branded, uh, a big one and a... So you're probably wondering why I've got these things, well I'll make a video or post about it on Instagram whenever I uh, get around to doing it, uh, but I feel the urge to build one of these right now, so, well not right now, in the next few days. <laughs> I've just finished one kit and uh, this seems to be the right uh, the right one to go on. Uh, so we'll just have a quick look at, uh, well, let's have a quick look at most of them. Start with the first one. Italeri's 20 foot military container. 100% new moulds. Exciting. Um, so as you can see, this is uh, Italeri's 24mm uh, number 6516 model kit, 135th scale, decals for two, uh, two American and one I assume Italian. Figures not included, so if you want some figures, get your own. Uh, the painting on the cover is fairly straightforward, nothing exciting special. What else is on the box? On this side, some information about the container. So. The 20 foot freight container is a key element to the international logistics. So basically it tells you about them in six different languages there, all European languages. Uh, on this side, same as the cover, same as the front front box on this side. We've got a picture of the uh, decal sheet there. And on this side, upright of the other side. So what what is in here? I have opened this before, I haven't actually had a good look at what's the thing itself, so let's just get some of this paperwork, including here some uh, bits of paper. I tend to print out the um, the uh, order information. Uh, this particular one I got from uh, Fog Models on eBay, uh, cost me $16.99. As well as that, inside here we have this thing here, which is a... Uh, a that <laughs> basically it's a air con air conditioning set resin kit um, which I was going to use come on you can focus which I'm uh, planning on using in conjunction with this or one of the other two depends which one like I may get another one of these kits just to uh, you know um, <coughs> use it on the others as well uh, I'm not going to look too much into this because this not this this video is not about this but yeah but I might do as well uh, put that to the side for a moment uh, we have lots of bits of paper in here what's this sheet of paper oh some from fog models fields of glory models that's what fog stands for FOG uh, <coughs> and then we have the instruction manual so we'll have a quick look at the manual which uh, I understand is there's not a lot to it as you can see it's just a uh, one sheet of paper, straighten it up a little bit. Um, so the front page, basically same information that you get on the side of the box. It's Larry, one, one, three, one thirty-fifth scale, six five one six is a model number. Retain this address for future reference. I assume I mean this address here of uh, it's Larry Bologna. Hmm, I didn't know that. So again, the same information about the vehicle, about the item, about the container itself, and the build instructions. So they've got one sprue map there, 
one sprue with uh, no, two sprues so two of the same sprue and uh, the build is first row forward well I say first row forward but I suspect it's going to be slightly trickier than it looks well it should be first row forward you put these two bits together which make up the floor I'm guessing and uh, the top bit appears to be one piece or is it I'll make it twice doesn't matter this is the entire build sheet so they can look at it for yourself on the other side you got the uh, painting and decal so paint dark green if you're making the Italian Air Force version down here or the flat sand if you're making that version which is a US Marine Corps version which is nice uh, well let's take a look at the plastic so basically you have two of the same sprue um, so in the back there are two of the same sprue and a little decal sheet there so let's get a quick look at that also numbers and uh, down here tells you what it is 20 foot military container so put that to the side again so two of the same and so that's it here yeah, two of these um, so lots of uh, extrusion pin marks on this side which is fine because that's going to be the inside side uh, it doesn't look like you can have open doors in this because why you'd need open doors is uh, well if you're doing a diorama or something like that maybe handy to have the open doors which uh, is what I have in mind to be honest so but this is the Hitler version so those are the sides so two sides these are I think the top and bottoms are the same and the doors there on the doors you've got these pieces here which are the uh, uh, the uh, door locking mechanism I believe so that's that uh, yeah that's very much it so that's the Hitler version so uh, let's take a look at what the uh, trumpeter version looks like Trumpeter. Okay, then, so here are the trumpeter ones. Much bigger boxes. Um, so basically, you've got two boxes exactly the same size, even though one of them is half the size of the other. So, so that's the box of the 20 foot container. That's the box of the 40 foot container. So different color. So this, these are basically just straightforward containers such as you may see in any uh, shipyard. On uh, the 20 foot one is 40, 40 parts, 40 pieces, didn't need that many. And the other one is also 40 pieces plus. So I'm guessing that uh, they're exactly the same pieces, only twice the size for the... Uh, oh, you get the drift. Uh, this side of the box. 24 container, blah, blah, blah. does it have a model number? No. This side, let's see if we can focus into it. Uh, yeah, so you got kit number uh, zero, you're in the shadow there. <laughs> you got kit number 01029 for the 20 footer, 01030 for the 40 footer. So I'm assuming they were all made in two roughly at the same time. On this side, you've got some uh, images of what you're going to get on the outside. So they've got these reversed. So, because uh, let's go around this side. So if you look at them from this side, you have uh, basically images of what the thing looks like. And on this side, you've got uh, CAD images, computer-aided design images of uh, the thing. So let's have a quick look at the 20 footer first. Okay. This is a much sturdier box than the uh, Italeri. Okay then, so what do we have in here? So I'll tell a little bit about this one, about the purchasing of this one. I bought this from uh, Dave Colley. I bought this from uh, Dave Colley. Dave Colley. 
uh, Dead Collie on eBay. Dead Collie's Emporium, I believe it is. This cost me $22.99. So, so more expensive than the Italian one. Uh, so this is Chinese. <coughs> uh, but I'm expecting the uh, mouldings to be slightly better. And they do look better already. Um, so you've got a few decals here. Which I think I've already been into this. So China shipping it says there, all in white. Can you see that? So that's the decal treat, instruction manual, again I'm expecting to be first to afford, so there's two bits of paper in here, a full colour painting guide, so you basically this is just a China shipping version all in a, a metallic red, so you've got paint colours from metallic red, silver and tyre black, um, so first to afford paint job there, all external, you don't, there isn't an option for opening doors. But again, I think we can work around it. Uh, the instruction manual, again, uh, some safety advice and read before assembly says in front there in English and in Chinese. Uh, down here, you've got a legend to tell you what all these symbols mean. Uh, add some weight. Use a. I don't think most of these are going to be necessary, but let's have a look. The build. Um, right, so this is this side is the uh, sprue map. So you've got three sprues for this one. So they're doing a slightly more interesting job. And on this side, just put them together like that uh, the top and bottom side and round, and then so on. And then you put the uh, so, you, so this one does have a door frame on one side. So this bit, which is uh, all open, and you stick the doors in there with all the uh, hardware for the locking mechanism and so on and then uh, you've got some uh, little square bits that drop in, top, in, in, in the top there no idea what they're for so let's look at the plastic then for this thing so three sprues all individually bagged as you can see things moving around going in my way just a moment please while I tidy up a little bit So I guess I have been into this, so I'm not sure if I made a video about it, but it uh, doesn't matter, I'm doing it now. Now looking at the plastic for these things, this is a lot denser and heavier than it was for the Italeri. Certainly the plastic's a lot thicker, the parts are cer certainly not to scale, thickness wise anyway, of the uh, steel parts. But uh, I'm sure it's put together it will be exactly the same size as the Italeri. So, that's those pieces there <laughs> and then we've got the uh, other parts so can I just turn to these? Oh, yes so this is sprue B and we need to lighten things up a little bit let's get closer in Sprue B just got two parts in it. So one side, the close uh, end of the thing, and the open end of the thing. Interestingly enough, you got uh, what is known as a slide molding on these things. So as you can see here, looking from the top, you don't see anything, but from the side, you've got these holes here go through to the underside. So some very clever molding going on there. Uh, virtually no flash, mainly a little bit of. Uh, uh, just on the edges there, just to get rid of this pin. It seems to be like a tiny lip, like a mold line, seam line. So, but uh, apart from that, things looking pretty nice. And finally, last but not least, put that your way, we have uh, let's see, screw A. Yeah. So this is through A. So this, this is the doors on a lot of the uh, uh, hardware. Uh, uh, 
the uh, bits to keep the doors open and closed, or just to open and close the doors rather, and uh, these little square pieces, don't know what they're for, but we saw them in the manual which go into spaces in the top, and uh, all these little bits, pieces here which are hardware for I believe tethering the, the item down onto the, onto the ship or whatever. I think, at least I think that's what they are. Right then, so the 40 foot container here. Um, the box is significantly he significantly heavier than the other, but then it's probably because there's twice as much plastic in this one as in the other one. There's a paper here. That, uh, so this one costs 26.99. Again, also from Dave Colley. Uh, Dave Colley's Emporium. You can find them on eBay. That's where I got it anyway. Um, the uh, the uh, what do you call this thing? The deco sheet. How could I forget it? The deco sheet is basically lots of little white lettering. S H C U there, which I'm not sure what it is, and lots of little numbers there, so you can uh, personalize the item, the object. Put that away. Uh, the instruction manual again. The front is the same, but you've also got the uh, full color paint guide. This time you're painting it blue. Uh, yeah, just blue. Uh, and then you've got silver for the uh, hardware, tire black for. I don't know where tire black goes actually. Little corners. And the instruction manual is again. Well, basically, it's exactly the same as the other one, but with bigger, but with longer sections on on this one, and goes over two pages, three pages as well. Uh, so these parts, A. So from what I can see, this sprue B, sprues A and sprue B are identical on both kits, and it's uh, sprue D and E that are different because they make the length of the thing. So yeah, glad they got to work out. <laughs> uh, anyway. So spruce, have I been? I, I think I've been in this one already. Does matter. Um, let's put the things aside for a moment. So again, so so this is a sprue B, which we've seen already in, in the other kit. Lighting up a little bit. So so sprue B. So we've seen this. So we've seen these parts already in the previous kit. Uh, that bit and that bit. And they're exactly the same, so we can put that away. Sprue A is again exactly the same as we saw in the previous kit. Uh, a few annoyances, it looks like this piece here is not straight, it's a bit bent. Uh, sure, we can work around that. Everything else is identical, all these pieces. So you only follow this on the small one, eight of them on the big one. And then you've got uh, these other two sprues. See if we can get you all in. So this is sprue, where's the number? A sprue D. Some big long chunk of plastic. And as I mentioned with the previous kit, these are pretty dense, pretty heavy. Uh, and they will flex a bit, on, just under their own weight if nothing else. See, this one's already broken off the uh, sprue there. But uh, there's lots of little holes in there. So I'm not sure what they're for. Uh, I'm guessing there'll be something to do with probably another version of the kit, but uh, the manual does not mention. Where is the manual? Oh, where have I put the manual? Maybe I just missed it. Yeah, in fact, the manual shows that part as totally clear with no markings on it at all. And yet, you've got all these little cutouts and renderings on it. So, as you can see there, we get them in shadow. So, I'm assuming that they're there for something on in a different kit, but 
we'll have to wait and see. I'm not, I, I'm not really planning to get another one like it, so but I might do, you never know. So anyway, that's Prudy. This is basically a long version of the previous sprue. And this is a sprue E. So this will be the sides of the uh, of the uh, item. Again, they look almost identical on both sides. Uh, the moulding is clear and sharp, virtually no flash. Actually, there is a little bit of mould line on the edges of the moulds. So, nothing uh, quick going over with a scraper, sander or knife of your of your choice will do the trick and get rid of that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Just while I'm here, I thought I might as well take a quick look at the uh, aircon set one. This is a um, Mac one, one thirty fifth scale air condition set one. Uh, basically, it's a resin kit, and in here we have those two bits. These all the pieces that you see on the uh, box there. Let's see if we can uh, see what's within. So as you can see on the other side, everything's carefully wrapped in plastic. And uh, I've, I've never really done uh, a resin kit of anything, so... Uh, but you've got, uh, as well as the resin, you've got uh, these pieces here, which are um, PE, metal pieces. And then you've got uh, your instruction leaflets piece of paper as I say, this is a A5 sheet uh, basically saying put those pieces onto that piece and you're done and then these pieces onto that so mod 1 mod 2 what's in the bag so there it is so those are the two pieces so I'm guessing you should cut off this base piece here um, as again, I'm not quite the, uh, I'm not very good with the uh, resin kit, so it's going to be a learning experience for me. And, uh, but looks like you need to take off this piece here, so this will be the mould plug. And, uh, comes off fairly easy as you can see there. So there's two of them, two slightly different air conditioning units. Let's get a close one. So two slightly different air conditioning units. And uh, we've got uh, two fans, fan on that side, fan on that side. Let's get them out, come on. So they've included everything, including some bits of wire, which will make up the uh, tubing, piping, cabling that's needed for these things. Which, uh, interesting enough, are not mentioned in the uh, instructions here, so... To connect power tubes and air pipes. It says there. Doesn't tell you where to connect them though. Just over there, I'm guessing. So, I'm... Um, yeah, so even the... Uh, yeah, it doesn't tell you exactly where they go, which is disappointing. Uh, anyway, let's have a quick look at the... Uh, metal work that comes with it. Yeah, I'm not very good at explaining myself today, am I? <laughs> and, uh, so basically you've got a, a fan on both of them, a grate that's got a circular grate which will go on the front of one of them, a round grate which goes on the front of the other one. So a circular grate and a square grating. And you've got these other pieces here which I'm seeing go down the side there. Um, and got these uh, mounting brackets so that's what this is here so this piece here these two pieces here there and there and there there so four pieces uh they mounting brackets so bend the photo edge support uh huh so that's how we do that and uh yeah there it is so I'm going to have to have a, a quick look. I may go to their website and just have a quick look if they have anything, any more information about how to put these things together. But until then, 
Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's the uh, Mac One Aircon Set One, and uh, what did it cost me? Loads of money. Seventeen ninety nine. It cost me. And again, this was from FOG models, Fields of Glory models, Fog models, if you like. So there we have it. Uh, a whole of container kit <laughs> that I bought ages back. Um, back in uh, lockdown days. So, and an air conditioning set for them. Um, Seems like a strange kit for me to buy. Well, it is an odd kit for me to buy. It's not the sort of thing I would normally buy as a kit, but it was of interest to me. Uh, the idea is I'm going to make some sort of diorama with or build something about it with them. Uh, I just finished a little jeep, so I could always use, for example, one of these containers, the American one, as a storage for the jeep. Maybe turn it into a little uh, uh, portable... Uh, portable machine shop for repairing jeeps and other military vehicles with an air conditioning unit. Uh, I'll probably get another air conditioning set which uh, probably something different and uh, indeed while shortly after I got this I've been keeping an eye out on other air conditioning sets. Uh, I was walking around the town there's some buildings have similar things standing fixed on the walls outside fixed on the outside wall so basically I'm using those as a, an idea of what this thing is going to look like. Uh, the picture they've got here shows it fairly uh, weather beaten and rusted around the corners. Uh, but those I see here in my local town are much cleaner than that so I guess the idea is that these are in somewhere where they get much heavier use than they do here in Britain because it's fairly chilly in this country quite often so anyway Military containers, who would have thought it, eh? Uh, yeah, so. So, anyway, if you like this video, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, tell me why. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and other little things like that. Take care, everybody, and uh, have fun with the modeling.